Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Damria and welcome to Guild Wars. This game is incredible in the way it, in some aspects, I really enjoy, like, I enjoy this game more than World of Warcraft, but it's an MMO, it's an online MMO, uh, RPG. <laughs> I think at this point, when you say MMO, you kind of mean MMORPG, because I know there are MMO FPSs, but usually people just say FPS. Um, with MMO, Usually that refers to MMORPG, and the RPG is not MMORPG. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, we're gonna start a brand new adventure, brand new character, and gonna really dwell into this game and really learn the story and just adventure through it and adjust the mic a little bit just to make sure it's all good. Okay, good, awesome. Let's choose uh, one of the uh, five races that are available for this game. Also, a shape of the way. Feels so nice. Feels so good. Anyway, less, dist less distractions, the better. We got the char. Which are like, um, kind of like lions and tiger humanoids. That's what they seem to me. We got the regular humans, which have a pretty good story nevertheless. Uh, we got the Norn. It's like the big giants of the north. And I'm kind of, I have a relation with these guys because, like, I'm from Russia. And Russia formed because a bunch of Vikings decided, hey, let's make a nation. And that's how Russia came about, because a bunch of Vikings and Nordic people decided, hey, let's make an age together. Uh, what else we got? We got Savari. Uh, Savari are like the plant people. Like, they're within the nature, like it says in the story, they're not born, they're waking beneath the pale tree. So they've been there for a while, and they kind of just grew into human beings or humanoids, and they kind of just live on. And then we got the Asura, and the Asura is something I've never explored, never played. I played the Char a little bit, played Human a little, played the uh, played Norn, but never the Asura. So I think what I'll do is make an Asura character. Now I have a choice between a male and a female. I'm gonna go with a female because girl power. Uh, one class that I've never tried, actually several classes I haven't tried. I haven't tried really Engineer, haven't tried Necromancer, Thief, or Mesmer. But Mesmer is the one that I never really understood why, how, or what for. So I really want to play this one. And yes, you can change and customize. You don't have to have this stupid headdress. So if you're going to go with that. Body, we want to be kind of tall, you know. We don't want him to be just a... Uh, it, wait, it's a she. Never mind. We don't want her to be... Well, actually, let's make her mid-height. There we go. Slightly taller than short. Uh, physique. Uh, what kind of physics do we got? Uh, let's make her not too skinny, but yeah, this will be enough. This will be fine. Skin color. Uh, do we have a, a more uh, human-esque skin color? Let's check. We got like dark brown. We got like pale. Actually, that's not bad. I'll go with that. Skin markings. Now, this is like what that's going to be on the face and stuff. Uh, let's make a black for now so we can see promptly. Um, some of the skin markings. That actually looks kind of cool. We can do black ears. That looks kind of cool as well. <gasps> yes, the flames. Well, mm, yep, we're going to go with the flames. What color can they be? Oh, okay, we're just going to make it as black as possible. There we go. Uh, hairstyles. Some of the hairstyles are, well, these guys don't really have a lot of hairstyles. So I guess we're just going to have to choose one of them. Uh... <laughs> what is that? Is that like a towel on her head? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Why? Out of all things. Wow, we really have don't we don't really don't have a lot of choices to go with. You know, we're gonna go with this. The little pom poms in the back. Uh hair color. Yeah, let's keep it pink like that. Why not? Accessory color. I like that because it's more of mesmer esque. Like it's purplish. Pink purple. Uh faces that we can do. Holy shit, look at that. That is one pissed off Azura. <laughs> We got a more girly looking one, a big eyed one. God, these, these guys are really weird to look at because the eyes are different all the time. Also, those are big ass eyes. You know what? We're going to go with those eyes because they're big ass eyes. Skin color. Whoa, we can change skin color like that. That is. Uh, let's go back to the one that we had. I think that's the one we had. Yeah, there we go. Somewhere around there. Uh, the ears. Uh, let's do. Yeah, I guess that'll be enough. Ear length, maybe make him a little shorter. There we go, that's pretty good. Face detail, let's go with that. Uh, brown place, actually, brow placement. I, I like the face, I'm gonna keep the face. Uh, the chin is fine, the ears are fine. Armor dies. Holy shit, look at that mask! Holy shit, that scared me. <laughs> is that what Mesmer's get? Just like a mask? 
Because that looks creepy as hell. Wait a minute. Let me, let me go to face detail and change up the face option to the creepy eyes. And see how it looks at the end. Holy shit, it looks creepy as hell. Let's see what other ones we got. Uh, for faces, we got this one and we got the big one. What about the big eyes? What does it look like? Eh, not really that much. Let's go to head options. Let's go with the face that we already had before. The one that I kind of liked, I guess. Uh, nope, not this one. Not this one. There we go. There's the one. Okay, that looks kind of cool. <laughs> that looks really weird, though. That was, that's freak as hell. Uh, yeah, let's go with... Um, I kind of like the uh, the entire scheme, actually. The purple scheme, not bad. Uh, everything else. Yep, you know, I'm good with everything. Let's go ahead and continue with our character. Well, I know it's a character, but... A mesmer's mask creatures and uh, creates an image. I choose to look out from behind a harlequin smile. A phantasm of sorrow or fang dread. The fang dread does look really menacing and all. And the sorrow. <laughs> the sorrow looks a little derpy. <laughs> but eh. I mean. I'm just going to go with the. Um, actually the dread does look kind of cool. Oh the sorrow. Actually you know I'm just going to go with the, smi the happy one. The smiley one. Because I mean. Smiling you know. Uh, we're going to go with charm. This character seems like it could be a charming character. Why not. I'm a member of College of Statics. Uh, builders and architects make up the College of Statics and we build la uh, to last. Nope. Dynamics. College of Dynamics produces Gizmo Maker Extraordinaire. Nah, not really that big of a deal for me. Um, as a member of the College of Synergetics, we study how energy patterns form an alchemical fr uh, fractal propagate. That seems kind of like it would make sense for a mystic to be part of, you know, because it's all about energy using. It's not much about technology. It's just like the flow of energy and how magic comes out and all that. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this other one out of the way. My first invention was an infinity bomb. Uh, it was a toy pipe dream. Could give me an advantage. I have no idea what this thing is. It's like a like a volatile thing. All right, a trans transamorphic converter. The Valar Golem. How about how about we do that? Most golems are powerhouses designed for warfare. She absolutely no subtlety or original design. My golem was compact and efficient, an unparalleled package of features. It revolutionized lab cleanup and mixed great cocktail too. Let's go with that. That seems kind of fun actually. My first advisor, the one who taught me almost everything I know almost, was Bronk. Uh, Benefits of superior power, firepower, no best form of magic is good old fashioned luck. Uh, Kenny is a bureaucrat. Eh, we don't want, I don't even want to deal with um, bureaucrats, I don't think. Blip is uh, was known for his redundancies as well as his redund redundancies. Wait. As well as was known for his redundancies, as well as his redundancies, he often said, "You first try, never be your last, especially if it succeeds." This guy makes no sense. You know, we're gonna go with the mage one. There we go. Uh, the best part of the game is that you can make any name and uh, give like a title. So we're gonna go with uh, Colette the Wise. How about that? There we go. We made a character. Now there's always a cool intro cinematic, and I mean, might as well watch it. You know. It just kind of comes with the game. I am Asura. I personify genies. My ancestors were driven from the heart of the earth, forced to live in this bright, wide world. Of course, we've excelled. We exceed expectations in everything we do. With Gollum and Gate and Arcane Crystal, we have asserted our supremacy in this land and made it our own. We will not move another inch. Not for dragons, not for anyone. By studying the eternal alchemy, we can see that all things are connected. I am a scholar of inner connectivity and relationships. I belong to the College of Synergetics. 
synergetics crews delve into the nature of fundamental coherence that many overlook and few exploit. My success positively impacts my crew, who then gratefully assist me, and I succeed even more brilliantly. Reciprocity. I've just been informed that defective golems, not mine of course, are causing havoc out in the jungle. Whatever the imbeciles outside the city have broken, I'll fix and make my name with doing so. In time, I will map the fabric of connectivity that weaves us all together. This is my story. All right, now we can see what our character is sort of about. And she kind of seems slightly snobby because she was like, those idiots broke the golems and I'm going to have to go fix it. And it's like, some golems, not mine of course, are broken, attacking people in the jungle or whatever. So yeah, we're going to be exploring the world as Colette the Wise. And not sure how Colette came around. I just first thing I thought of that was like an intelligent-ish name. I don't know. My mind thinks a little differently, but it... Everybody's minds think differently. <laughs> Alright, what do we start off with? This is the beginning of the game. What do we got? Okay, we have destroy your clones and phantasms damaging nearby foes. And cry of frustration, destroy your clones and phantasm confusing nearby foes. What do we got? What weapon do we have? Uh, we are starting off with um, the scepter. Alright. Alright, first thing I want to show you before anything is... um. The great... Actually, you know what? I can probably just go on for now and just see what's going on here. What's going on here? Um, wait, hold on. I, I completely skipped a conversation with them. There's a catastrophic glitch in the golem control system. In brief, they've gone completely loopy. Find Peacemaker Gezi. She'll get to the bottom of this. Peacemaker? Then no help. Sure they are. Well, some of them are. Okay, a few are. But Gezi is one of the good ones. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Let's find Gezi. Gezi, where this art thou, Gezi? Actually, let's see if we can fight these guys. Can I just fight them from range? Oh, I can fight them from range. Awesome. Let's go ahead and continue with that. What does this do? Uh, Ether fees, heals up, gain additional health for each active. Oh, okay. So I guess I work around with illusions. As I mean, that's as far as I believe what's happening. I'm not 100% sure what's going on. Also, the cool thing about this game is that you can dodge by pressing like double A or here. I'll, I'll go ahead and dodge. See? So awesome. And you can avoid any kind of damage, whether it's PvP or PvE or anything like that. It's actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get this guy here. PM623Z. Let's go ahead and take him down. There we go. And this guy behind him. Oh, we got a new ability. Block the next attack counter by applying Torment and creating a clone that casts Ether Bolt. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Did I get damage? Ah, uh, a little bit. Let's go ahead and heal a little bit. There we go. Let's go ahead and keep running. Peacemaker Gezi, come here. It's pure chaos out here. Unacceptable. What's going on? Just what it looks like. These golems have gone mad. Zoja suspects someone tampered with them. And by someone, she means the inquest. Zoja's rarely wrong. Don't tell her I said rarely, by the way. If it is the inquest, she's going to need help. Where can I find her? At the malfunctioning gate that's spitting out these deranged golems. She claims she could feel them on the other side of the gate laughing at us. Not for long. I'm going to help Zoja shut down the problem at its source. Thanks for the information. Alright, we're gonna have to go find Zoja. These guys came out of nowhere. Let's go look for them. It's right there on the map. By the way, a cool feature about the map is that you can draw on it. And just make, you know, happy faces. Like, ah, hey, look at that, I'm happy. And, uh, looks like we gotta go this way. This is gonna be, uh, really awesome whenever I'm, like, making a commentary with this. Because I can show you guys where I'm going and stuff. And that's actually pretty cool. You can actually see what's going on the map and stuff. And you can see the cursor and everything like that. And it's like we're leveling together. And you get to see what the game is about. And I get to show you in case you get interested. Because if you're looking for a different MMO to play, just like in free time or whatever. Or just a new MMO to explore. Guild Wars is definitely the one to give a try. I'm not even kidding you. Alright, 
going through the portal. I don't know what the portal does, but we're going through it. I'll you.